Hey everybody, what's up? Today, we're gonna to talk about step six. Before we do that, it's important to understand that any minute spent working on anything that's beneficial to us beats the hell out of a minute spent doing absolutely nothing for your life or yourself. And today, what we are going to talk about is step six, which involves making a list of everything we already have and that we are already grateful for. We're gonna make a list about what we love in our life. Anything, everything, even this uh, phone mount that doesn't seem to be working anymore with the heat of the summer. With the heat of the summer, we're gonna get some air conditioning rolling. So, again, we're making a list of everything that we're grateful for. Even if we have a job that we eventually want to leave, we're going to list everything that we love about our job. We want to be as grateful as we can. We want to express gratitude for what we already have in this life. And uh, we're doing this, and these are my words, not Jack's, with the understanding that gratitude can and will change our perspective. I know this to be true from my own experience practicing gratitude with the journaling that I do every morning and every evening. Seeing as gratitude is a game changer, it's important to understand and participate in activities that allow us to reflect on what it is that we're grateful for because while we're thinking about what we want to do with our lives, we often spend a lot of time thinking about that which we don't have instead of being grateful for that which we do. And I think the purpose of this exercise, in, in my words, is that, well, this is actually something that Jack had mentioned as well, that we can and should enjoy ourselves and benefit the most from what we're doing currently while we spend this time figuring out what we want to do in the future. We can and we can have anything that we want within reason, but we cannot have everything that we want. Everything comes at a cost. And it's not just the money that costs us. It's what the money could have allowed us to do otherwise. It's the effort spent in doing the things that cost us money. Time and effort equates to dollars. Always remember this. Like I said in the beginning, any minute spent working on anything that's beneficial to us beats the hell out of a minute spent doing absolutely nothing for your life or yourself. And perhaps we want to focus more on really enjoying our life. Once we, once we understand this, we, mo we might focus on enjoying our life what we're doing with it in order to maximize our joy and in some areas of our life we might actually want to do less think about that in some areas we might want to do less with our schedule instead of trying to cram in more because if we actually do less we can focus on really enjoying the time that we have in our lives and enjoying it with our friends and with our family. You don't have family? You're like me, a single person? All right, make your family, choose your family, build your family, find friends that are more than friends that you can call family. It is possible, ask me. I may know. So these steps 
or outline for us to gain clarity with what we want in our life. Jack's outlined this message for us because sometimes he says that he wants us to have what we want and the way that he's described it, sometimes I wonder if he wants us to have the things that we want more than I actually want them myself. But I'll leave that to wonder because he's got a large audience and most certainly isn't directing that comment towards me. Maybe he is. I don't know. Can't imagine that he is, but it makes it feel that way. And that's why he's built the audience that he has because of the personal touch that he's given this podcast that he does. One parting word is that, remember, if you don't do these steps, you're wasting your time. And his. And mine. Because I'm trying to take this and formulate it into some sort of thing that allows people to do, follow the same steps in the manner that I'm following them for their own reference. The links where I originally sourced this material will be in the show notes. But, like Jack said today, you know, if you do these things one year from today, we're not going to have obtained everything that we set out to obtain, but we will blow ourselves away with the things that we've managed to accomplish over the next 12 months. So to reiterate, anybody who is watching these videos and trying to formulate a life plan for yourself. I am actively taking 13 steps to getting what I want in life or living the life that I want. And I am on step six, making a list of things that I'm grateful for. And here are the steps that I have taken thus far. Step one, determine what you have that you don't want. Step two, determine what you want that you don't have. Step three, determine where you really want to build your life. Step four, write a series of how can I questions that prompt the thought processes behind the previous three steps. Step five, develop a financial plan, which is more than just a simple budget. And ultimately, the current step, step six, which is where we are making a list of everything that we are grateful for. And that's going to be tough because for me, well, I'll, I'll explain why that's tough in a sec. But this list of everything that you have that you are grateful for, everything that we really love anything and everything and ultimately Jack is on vacation right now which is where this list has come from and he left us with one thing we want to develop a life where we can take two weeks off and have the business chug along as it normally does we want to take these 13 steps so anything you love anything and everything and the fact that this is such a treat for me to go through this experience, document these 13 steps in this way, it's really fascinating because I'm in the process of doing a number of other things, working through a number of other things, documenting a number of other things. And then this comes my way. It just seems too good to be true. So. I am working on this, I am working through this along with you or other people who may be doing similar things and it's a great thing, it's a good exercise. I definitely encourage people to do something like this, 13 steps. These are great exercises to go through uh, the growth and development that um, we need to go through in order to make the progress that we need to make. So with that said, I'm going to jump off now as I turn in the driveway on the final leg home. 
and send out a text message to Cody and Ken that I meant to send out today regarding work that needs to be done in the commercial kitchen space the walk-in cooler tomorrow. And so I'll do that sitting right here in the shade. Until next time, take care everybody. Peace. And uh, thanks for tuning in to this afternoon episode, step six of the RobKaiser.me show, where together we are taking 13 steps towards living a better life and loving the life that we want. All right, until next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.